Hi everyone. They say that in the modern world, we suffer from a chronic lack of adrenaline. In prehistoric times, it was produced in our body all the time, stimulating physical and brain activity. And no wonder, people had to face danger every day back then. Today, everything is different. In order to get the dose of the fear hormone, we go to the cinema to see a horror movie, skydive, or visit amusement parks. Today, we'll tell you about the places where anyone can experience primal fear horror. So think twice before buying tickets. Let's get it on! Chongqing Amusement Park You probably know that the Chinese likes to set all sorts of records. They built the longest glass footbridge and the highest outdoor elevator. And this amusement park is no exception. It is located in the Chongqing area, the largest mainland city in China, which was the country's capital for several years in the last century. A few years ago, the park opened a scare-inducing attraction. The creators claim that this is one of the longest glass footbridges on the planet. The floor is made of glass panels, which, by the way, are quite fragile. That is why every visitor has to use special shoe covers. The structure can withstand the weight of no more than 80 people at a time. Most likely, you get cold feet just by looking at this place. However, the chief engineer of the bridge assures that it is safe. The footbridge has special sensors capable of detecting any fluctuations. Thanks to them, designers can simulate the behavior of the bridge during bad weather and prevent any emergencies. But that's not all. You can get to the observation deck in a much more extreme way if you still aren't scared enough. You can walk the bridge made of planks located at a height of 300 meters. The most courageous visitors ask to blindfold them or to increase the distance between the planks. And we, of course, understand that these brave people put on a safety harness, but the experience is still quite scary. By the way, in 2018, the park had to be closed for a while. That's because the safety cord snapped from the visitor's harness while he was walking the bridge. Fortunately, at that moment, he took his final step before landing on solid ground. Time Traveler this incredible attraction in Missouri allows you to travel not only in time, but also in space. Most likely, you will not understand where you are at all. The creators say that this is the tallest spinning roller coaster in the world. The cars rise to a maximum height of 30 meters and accelerate to 81 kilometers per hour, and the total length of this track is almost one kilometer. The creators spent about $26 million to build this roller coaster, which is not surprising given that this is the only spinning roller coaster with a double launch, vertical loop, and three inversions. By the way, thanks to the inversion, visitors can feel zero gravity during the roll. The entire ride of The Time Traveler takes about two minutes, although most likely that would seem like an eternity for the visitors. Wing walking. Even if you don't suffer from aerophobia, we bet this stunt will leave you horrified. An ordinary person flies at an altitude of 500 meters, but not inside the cabin, but right on top of the massive wing of a biplane. Well, the pilot, of course, performs some acrobatic stunts in the air. This stunt is quite popular in England, and people don't have to be qualified to try it. Of course, during all the action, you are attached to a plane by a harness. There are also professional wing walkers out there. They dedicate many years of training and sometimes can even move from the wing of one aircraft to another right in the middle of the flight. The ordinary people just have to stand still on the wing and enjoy the adrenaline rush. Some say the force of the wind is so strong, it'll take all your strength to lift up your arm to try and wave to your friends on the ground. Swing on the stadium. In 2010, the FIFA World Cup was held in South Africa. By the way, this was the first time a tournament of this scale was held on the African continent. So, as usually happens, after the end of the competition, some of the buildings designed for the championship became accessible to tourists. African engineers even figured out how to lure visitors to football stadiums when there are no football games. We are talking about the incredible Moses Mabida Stadium, which was built in Durban. The most expressive architectural element of this structure is a giant steel arch. with a high 
height of 105 meters and a span of 340 meters. A cable car running along this arch brings visitors to its highest point with the observation deck with stunning views of the ocean. Here, on the fourth step of the arch, you can find the world's largest swing. Anyone brave enough can take a free fall 80 meters into the center of the stadium and then soar back to the sky at a speed of about 120 kilometers per hour. By the way, not so long ago, the South African ride got some competition. Right now, China is testing the highest swing in the world. It's about 100 meters high, which is as tall as a 30-story building. The swing is located right on the edge of a 700-meter tall cliff. Wildfire Roller Coaster It seems like every possible attraction has already been made in our world. It becomes increasingly difficult to surprise the visitors, but the creators of this Swedish park went one step further. They decided to build a huge roller coaster out of real wood. The wildfire attraction broke several records at once. It was recognized as the best in Europe, the highest, the third fastest, and the fourth longest in the world. During the ride, you will experience the weightlessness and free fall, which every extreme sports fan seeks. All this thanks to the three inversions. The highest speed the ride reaches is 101 kilometers per hour, so there are enough reasons to squeeze into the seat and hold on tight. Jumping off Macaw Tower Bungee jumping is quite an extreme form of entertainment, but this attraction takes it to a whole new level. In the small Chinese region of Macaw, there is a 338 meters high tower. It serves as both an observation deck, a telecommunication center, and a perfect destination for thrill seekers. This is where the world's highest bungee jumping platforms are located, at 233 meters above the ground. By the way, it is mentioned in the Guinness Book of World Records. The designers even came up with their own cable production technology. They say that thanks to it, the cables turn out much more durable and make jumping from such a dizzying height safe. Zip lining in the Grand Canyon the Grand Canyon in the U.S. state of Arizona is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. Every year, millions of people from all over the world come here to see millions of years of Earth's history in cross-section. The canyon is almost two kilometers deep, and on its slopes, you can admire the incredible scenery and the fierce current of the Colorado River. However, some visitors choose more extreme ways of visiting it. For example, they go on a zip line. It's over a kilometer long and goes faster than 60 kilometers per hour. All this at the height of 150 meters. Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Alpine Coaster in Imst. This charming Austrian resort in the Alps is usually associated with skiing. However, there are actually a lot of other things to do there, some of them you may not have even heard of. For example, the world's longest alpine coaster is located in Imst. The 3.5-kilometer ride starts in the mountains at a height of 1.5 kilometers, and the ride time is about 9 minutes. Do not think that all this time you'll be sitting relaxed in your shuttle riding in a straight line. Along the way, you will experience a lot of slow stretches and unexpected turns. Battlestar Galactica Amusement parks of the world-famous Hollywood film studio Universal are located not only in the United States, but also in Japan and Singapore. The latter, by the way, was the first park of its kind in all of Asia. It's divided into seven zones of different themes, where you can find entertainment for your liking. However, the sci-fi city area is the real highlight here. No wonder. After all, this is where the incredible Battlestar Galactica ride is located. It consists of two parts. The first is the Cylon roller coaster, where visitors ride the track upside down, in a spiral, and then underground. The second ride, Human, is slightly different. There are no inversions, but you can accelerate up to 90 kilometers per hour. Falcon's Fury the name of this attraction in the U.S. state of Florida speaks for itself. It's 100 meters tall, and people drop from it at a breakneck speed of almost 100 kilometers per hour. Before this, the visitors are, of course, slowly carried to the top of the tower so that they could admire the view and calm down before the drop. Naturally, the people experience the free fall, and all the visitors are turned so that they would look at the ground during it. This, as you know, only makes the experience more terrifying. Close to the ground, the chair makes a sharp 90-degree turn. It's difficult to even imagine how fast your heart would be beating and your head spinning after a landing like this. <laughs> Formula Rasa 
and finally, perhaps the most incredible roller coaster in the world. If you've always wanted to find out what being a Formula One driver feels like, then this is the place for you. This amusement park is called Ferrari World and is located in the United Arab Emirates. Many tourists from all over the world come to it for the main entertainment, the roller coaster Formula Rasa. This attraction is rightfully called the fastest in the world. Just imagine, the cart reaches a speed of 240 kilometers per hour in less than five seconds. How's that possible? All thanks to the catapult launch system. It is the same, by the way, as the one installed on the aircraft carriers for launching fighter jets from the deck. Before the launch, real Ferrari racers tested this two-kilometer ride. It's also very similar in shape to the Italian racetrack in Monza, where the Italian Formula One Grand Prix is held every year.